Sports is presented by Triple J. All right, time for sports. Again, Andy Wheeler here filling in for Double D, uh, switching things up a little bit. Got some guests in the studio. We're going to be talking rugby today, and it was Jeremy Clarkson that famously said, rugby is a lot like American football, except that it's played by men. <laughs> it's a tough sport, and we got some tough guys here in studio with us. We got TJ Ada and Paul Claris, uh, guys, no stranger to rugby. Tell us a little bit about your affiliation uh, with rugby and how you got into the sport. Uh, well, I, I got into the sport in two, excuse me, uh, 1999, to be honest, uh, uh, for the Pacific Games here on Guam. And okay. since then, I've coached, played, ref um, for high school, middle school, and all that good stuff so you've worked your way up you've been around the sport for a while uh for a while you've seen some of the growth that the sport has had here on island not just hey there's leagues we've got a new one coming up we'll talk about but uh the success that the guam teams have had going off island uh what has that been like to uh, for you to watch that uh, because of the growth of our double uh, double ag high school program you see the new influx of new kind of blood so last Year, or this year we won Division Three, so now nice. we're going to move for Division Two for the Asia region. And then the, the woman just came back from Brunei, um, finished third, um, barely finished third. I mean, they could have finished first, but just a bad game. It uh, happens, teams have them. So we've, we've been growing uh, tremendously, and also if you notice, if um, there's tons of girls moving off to college guys as well. So right. this year we had a couple of Division One players, so okay. very, very interesting. Yeah, yeah real interesting. Uh, TJ, let's talk about your involvement in the sport here on Guam and uh, how you got into it. Um, well, I've uh, co been coaching for a long time, uh, picked up refing a few years back, uh, and I... So you used to, you went from yelling at refs to being yelled at by coaches? I was a really good, I was a really good coach. Oh, we, don't, we don't yell oh, at the really? refs in rugby. We're going to have to interview other <laughs> refs about that. <laughs> so what is it about the sport? Because I, I, I didn't grow up watching it or playing it, mm. so sometimes watching it, I'm not sure of the rules. Uh, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I, I want to yell at the ref, I'm just used to, but I don't. So what is it uh, about that sport that drew you to it? Um, so I'm, I'm a, I came from a football background, right? And football typically, unless you're like the, the top tier players, you're only mm -hmm. going to play offense or defense. Right. So I think that's one of the biggest draws from rugby coming from a football background is you get to, you have to play all aspects of the game. It's just nonstop. It seems non like watching yeah. it. I'm like, I have to talk, call a timeout something. <laughs> what's going on? And so it is nonstop fast paced. Mm -hmm. I mean, you really got to be in shape. And yep. if it's. Uh, the off season for football or something, you want to stay in shape. Hey, let's get a little rugby team together, and no. uh, you've been doing that. What got you into the sport? Um, I was aside a, from just S S P G. Um, um, in terms of loving the sport, of course, it's just one of those things. It's such a total uh, team game. Yeah. Um, you know, with every other sport, it's an individual, and I'm, I'm I like the passion and commitment that you have to kind of take to achieve at this level, especially. Since we, we were, when I started, it was basically the growth of rugby on Guam. We were kind of like the face right. of becoming the new generation of yeah. rugby. So it, it felt pretty good to kind of just grow with the team and grow with the sport on, on Guam. Yeah. Speaking of the new generation, uh, we got a middle school league starting up. Uh, actually, Our championship. If, yeah, so right. we, uh, this weekend at Wedding Gale, it's going to be action packed. I think Double I, Double AG uh, Middle School will be finishing off. Their, I think their finals should be around. 10.40 and then 11 o'clock kickoff for the GDOE side um, and then our finals for that was going to be around 2.45. Cool. Yeah. Uh, another big thing you have coming up is a uh, you're teaching up match officials. You're yeah. getting them fully certified so they can get yelled at by other yeah. coaches around the world. Yeah, so we have a we have a uh, ref coming in from Singapore. He'll be in tomorrow night, um, and then we have a level one. Uh, so level one is going to be Thursday at, at Custom Fitness at 5:30 to 8:30. Yeah, so subtle, <laughs> little, but right. little shout out to Custom Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> so 5:30, 8:30, and that's for level one. And then level two, it's going to be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So it's pretty uh, comprehensive, and for us, it's a good opportunity to see how far we've come along. So he, uh, the guy that's coming in, actually came here two years ago. Oh, cool. So he's mm -hmm. going to kind of. Uh, this time it's more of a practical for us to kind of uh, give us a better game situation, things like that. Yeah, and it's good for coaches to know that the refs that are out there, they are certified. It's mm -hmm. not like, oh, I used to play. Yeah, give me a whistle and a share. Okay, I can ref the game. You kind of want them to be certified. Yeah, I mean, it, I, it's, yeah, a good, it's a good, uh, good training for coaches to do too, even if you're not, uh, not going to be an active official. Right. Coaches, even players, you know. Just to know the rules. Yes, it's your I awareness. Need to, I need to, to learn the rules, rules yeah. too. Uh, guys, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. Looking forward to big things for rugby uh, in the future. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. thank Appreciate you it. Uh, right now, we are going to take a look at the NFL schedule coming up. All right. Taking a look at some NFL action that's coming up on the stations of KUAM.